In this section, we are going to talk about microturbines. What is a microturbine? It is a small turbine with a power output production between 25 to 500 kilowatts. Microturbines were derived from turbocharger technologies found in large trucks or the turbines in aircraft auxiliary power units. Most microturbines are single stage radial flow devices with high rotating speeds of 90,000 to 160,000 revolutions per minute. However, a few manufacturers have developed alternative systems with multiple stage or lower rotation speeds. Microturbines are currently in partly commercial status. Capstone is the leader company that currently offers microturbines. Some of them include heat recuperators for combined heat and power applications. Main components of the microturbine. The main components of a microturbine are a compressor, a turbine, a combustion chamber, a heat exchanger or recuperator, and an electric generator, which normally is coupled to the same shaft as the turbine and compressor. In the externally fired microturbine, a high temperature heat exchanger is acquired in the system. The compressor, turbine and electric generator located in the same shaft are called turbogenerator. Advantages of the use of microturbines. Microturbines offer a number of potential advantages compared to other technologies for small scale power generation. These advantages include a small number of moving parts compact size, lightweight, greater efficiency, lower greenhouse gas emissions, lower electricity costs, and opportunities to utilize fuels derived from waste. They have the potential to be located on sites with space limitations for the production of power. Waste heat recovery can be used with these systems to achieve efficiencies greater than 80%. Classification of the microturbines. Microturbines can be classified by the physical arrangement of the component parts. Single shaft, where the turbine, compressor and generator are in the same shaft. Double or two shafts, where the generator is in another shaft, which doesn't require an inverter to change the frequency of the AC power generated because of the low rotational velocity due to the GR box. The microturbines can be also distinguished by the variation in their thermodynamic cycle. They are the recuperated cycle microturbines that recover the heat from the exhaust gas to boost the temperature of combustion and increase the efficiency. In the case of the unrecuperated or simple cycle, it doesn't use the exhaust gas to preheat the compressed air, therefore it has lower electric efficiency, but also requires lower capital cost than the recuperated cycle microturbine. Finally, we have internally and externally fired microturbines, where the combustion takes place inside the cycle, in the case of the internally fired, or outside of the cycle in the case of the externally fired microturbine. The externally fired microturbine is still under technical development and few companies have it commercially available. Internally fired microturbine. Typically, it has a recuperated cycle and its components are a compressor, a recuperator, a combustion chamber, a turbine, and an electric generator. The cycle starts in the compressor, which takes air at atmospheric pressure. The compressed air is then directed to the recuperator, where the temperature is increased. The compressed 
unpreheated air is then sent to the combustion chamber along with the fuel. The product of this combustion goes to the turbine where it is expanded producing the rotation of the turbo, of the turbo generator shaft. The expanded flue gas goes to the recuperator to transfer heat to the cold compressed air. Finally, the high temperature exhaust gas can be still used in some other thermal applications. The combustion product is in direct contact with the turbine, so it's important to have a clean and well treated fuel to avoid damages in the rotating parts. The gas required for this turbine normally has to be compressed. Externally fired microturbine. The components of the externally fired microturbine are a compressor, a turbine, a high temperature heat exchanger, a combustion chamber, and an electric generator. The thermal cycle starts in the compressor. It takes air from the atmosphere. Then the air compressed goes to the cold side of the high temperature heat exchanger. The output of this Heat, high temperature heat exchanger is a compressed hot and clean air that is expanded in the turbine producing the rotation of its shaft. Then the low pressure hot air from the turbine is mixed with the high temperature flue gas which is a product of the combustion that takes place at atmospheric pressure. This mixture goes to the gas hot side of the high temperature heat exchanger to transfer heat to the compressed cold air. Finally, the thermal energy of the flue gas can be recuperated to be used in multiple applications. The electric generator is located in the same shaft as the compressor and turbine. This is the only rotating part of the microturbine. The rotational speed of the shaft can vary in a range of 100,000 to 160 RPMs. Externally fired microturbines are versatile regarding the use of fuels. They can work with fuels with low heating value and with low quality in terms of purity. In externally fired turbines, the combustion process takes place at atmospheric pressure of the outside of the cycle, where after the flue gas goes to the high temperature heat exchanger, which is less sensitive to contaminants than the turbine. So, it is not harmful for the mechanical rotating parts of the turbine, since the flue gas is not directly in contact with the turbine. Another advantage is that the fuel doesn't need to be highly compressed to work in this externally fired microturbine.